If you're an entrepreneur, there's a good chance that you are a projector because they often find entrepreneurship naturally in their path, having tried to fit into a generator structured world for so long and it doesn't align. You just don't feel like, I don't want a nine to five. It doesn't fit me. Maybe that's how you feel. It's been so insightful understanding my energy system and I want you guys to be armed with this knowledge as well, especially if you have a business because it is so key to understand how you tick, how you work, what puts you into a state of flow versus friction. Hi, I'm Emily Bender, the founder of Wealth Voice and Beetle Moment Marketing. In this video, we are talking about human design for business owners and entrepreneurs. What is human design? How can you figure out your energy system so that you align your schedule and your work with your natural rhythm, your blueprint? So stick around and we'll get into it. Human design is a blueprint for your energy system. There are five types in the human design framework. Essentially, this is a framework that is part science, part spirituality, part physiology. If you're familiar with Enneagram or Myers-Briggs, I look at this as another tool in your toolbox to understand yourself better. I don't look at any of these frameworks or inventories as a Bible or a be all end all, but I have found human design in particular really helpful as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who's creating things from scratch. And I have realized that a lot of the work I've been doing, especially the past two and a half years, wasn't aligned with my energy system as a projector. What is a projector? It is one of the five types of the human design system. So you're probably either a generator or a projector. They're probably the most common types between the two types, which are generators, the life force, manifesting generators, which are the multi-hyphenate, and together those account for 70% of the population. Then you have the projector, which is about 20% of people are projectors. This is the seer. There's also, much more rarely, a manifester, fire starter, twisted fire starter. That's 9% of the population. And then there's the reflector, only 1% of the population. This is like a Mother Teresa, a Gandhi, super rare. You're probably not a reflector and that's okay. So all of this, you can find out your human design if you go to myhumandesign.com, there's a free quiz, there's an app, and there's a fantastic podcast all from this creator that I have found to be super bright. And uh, she, she has this real way with words, which for me as a voice marketing person, it spoke to me. You gotta listen to her podcast. It's been so insightful understanding my energy system and I want you guys to be armed with this knowledge as well, especially if you have a business because it is so key to understand how you tick, how you work, what puts you into a state of flow versus friction. When you're building a business, no one is coming. It's you, it's up to you. So take these tools, use them, let them help you. I wanna focus mostly on the generators and the projectors because most people are gonna fall into those buckets. Our society is set up for generators. To really simplify it, a generator is somebody who does well with a schedule and they like consistency. So for example, getting up at the same time, working out at the same time, going to work, being productive for that chunk of time, getting tired, going home, resting, repeating. Projectors on the other hand are in consistent by their energy blueprint. They have spurts of energy, then periods of downtime or rest or fatigue, which when you are a projector, you have to rest before you get tired. The modern world, especially if you are an employee and you have a nine to five, is just not set up for that. When you think about children in school, why was school always so difficult? You had to sit still for seven hours a day in a desk and you had to get up early and you're always tired. You're a teenager, you're exhausted. You never got enough sleep as a teenager. Things start too early for some kids. There's just not a lot of flexibility. So you muddle through all that, you go to college maybe, you do everything in this generator style. And some people who are generators like, yeah, that's great. I love having a set schedule. It gives me structure. Not everybody thrives in structure. If you don't thrive in structure, stop forcing yourself into a structure. There's so many self-help books and influencers and people are like, you have to get up at 5 a.m. to really own the day, or you have to fast, or you have to work out early in a fasted state to burn the most calories, or even if you don't feel like it, just force yourself to create content every Tuesday or don't. Do what's right for you. If you take this human design quiz and all you have to do is like put in your birth date, location, time of birth, you might have your eyes opened up to, oh, that's why this is so difficult. I'm trying to live a generator energy system, but I'm a projector or maybe I'm a manifesting generator. And what do these types really mean? I'm not gonna go too deep into it. You can definitely listen to Jenna's podcast, Human Design. What you need to know about manifestors is that they initiate they're here to get things started generators are here to respond 
and to build. Manifesting generators are here to build, to find shortcuts to mastery. Projectors are here to guide the response and direct others. Reflectors are here to reflect and to reflect situations for assessment. Projectors reflect back energy flow from those around them and they amplify it. So you're as a projector, which is 20% of people, I happen to be one. If you're an entrepreneur, there's a good chance that you are a projector because they often find entrepreneurship naturally in their path, having tried to fit into a generator structured world for so long and it doesn't align. You just don't feel like, I don't want a nine to five. It doesn't fit me. Maybe that's how you feel. The thing about projectors is they seem to have so much energy, but it's actually not their own energy. They're amplifying and projecting out the energy of others around them, which also gets to be very draining. So they have to rest before they get tired. Projectors, this is key now for entrepreneurs. For building a startup, it's very key. Projectors are not doers. They're natural leaders and innovators and guides who help others. For me, that was a huge realization. I think what you can do is if you find out whether you take this quiz or not, like watch this video and maybe it's enough. If you think about what makes you tick and when you feel most in flow and aligned from a creativity production standpoint, production meaning whatever product you put into the world, that could be content, that could be a tube of toothpaste with coconut oil and charcoal in it, like whatever you're producing that's special, that's your thing. The way that you build it and share it and get ideas for it is unique to you and your blueprint. Links to the human design app, the free quiz, uh, the podcasts are in the description below. This is not sponsored. I don't know the woman who created it, but I found her content really helpful and I'm always on the lookout for tools and frameworks that can help me to understand myself better so that I can be a better business owner and share my gifts, my wares, because that's what projectors, by the way, if you are one, you're here to share your wares with the world, but you might be waiting for the invitation. You might not be comfortable chasing and pursuing because you're waiting for others to see you because you see them and then you can share your gifts. And then there's complete synchrony. Being in a sales role, when you're a wait for the invitation strategy will be very uncomfortable. Or if you are naturally great at selling and you're a generator or a manifesting generator, being cooped up alone, working from home, not having that inspiration from others might feel really uncomfortable and draining for you. Introverts and extroverts, this is so key and so misunderstood. It has nothing to do with shyness or confidence. Introversion and extroversion, if you read the book Quiet by Susan Cain, these are hardwired at birth. You can tell which babies are I versus E by a few things. One of them is sensitivity to the environment, whether it's loud noises, bright lights, scratchy fabrics. Babies who are introverts, which there's actually a part of the brain that is it's like a filter for stimuli. And with an introvert, your filter is like wide open and a lot of stimuli gets through. So the world can feel very overwhelming, especially from a sensory standpoint. Extroverts have their filter really shut. It's called the anterior cingulate, I believe. I'll check that and put it in the description if I got it wrong, but that filter is so closed and they want stimuli to get through to give them that it's like a dopamine hit. So having music on all the time, having a lot of small talk conversations, they actually get dopamine from that as an extrovert. For an introvert, small talk is 100% draining, exhausting. Simon Sinek has the best short analogy to understand the difference between introverts and extroverts. Here it is. Introverts start every day with five coins in their pocket. Every social interaction costs them a coin. Extroverts start the day with no coins in their pocket and every interaction gives them a coin. We have to interact, we are social animals. It's not to say introverts don't enjoy talking to people, but their coins are precious and so those interactions need to be deep and meaningful to be worthwhile. It's a very scarce resource, the energy, right? So figure out your energy system, introvert, extrovert, whatever is helpful to you, do what works for you, and then your business will be more successful, I promise. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. We've got business, personal finance, marketing, branding tips, all of the stuff that anybody running a business would find helpful. And even if you're not running a business, I think it's also helpful for you too. So make sure you listen to my mini podcast, Voice Marketing with Emily Bender. It's under five minutes every week or two. You can get that on Spotify, Apple. It's Voice Marketing with Emily Bender. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.